Hey, welcome back. Today's video is Outdoor Living Spaces and it is a collaboration and it's organized by Catherine from Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. So check out the links below for all the lovely ladies to see their outdoor living spaces. I'm excited about this video. I kinda hate the inside of my house, but the reason we bought this house is the backyard. We literally came to this house, walked in the backyard, the real estate agent was trying to find the key code to get inside, and I was like bawling like a baby. Cause there was like baby geese and baby ducks, and I'm like, I want to live here, I don't care what the inside looks like, we must buy this house. And we did. So I'm gonna show you the backyard and some of the things I love about it, and some of the quick, easy, and inexpensive projects I did to make it even better. So here we go. So I thought I'd quickly first just show you the backyard, do a little pan here. Um, I'm nosy, I love checking out other people's spaces, so I thought I'd show you ours too. You can see in the back there, that is our little river back there, it's called Puce River. And um, it's filled with geese and fish and ducks and <laughs> all sorts of creatures. And here's our um, gazebo here with our dining table. One of my favorite things I love is this chandelier. This is just a really old chandelier with a couple of quick coats of spray paint. And we put a new plug on it so you can just plug it into the wall out here. And it's holding up perfectly and it's really nice at night. So this is one thing I love and I really recommend to anyone who has a door off their kitchen to go outside is to just have some flip-flop bins. We have a dog so you can see it says caution landmines, wear protective footwear because I have had to scrape dog boo off my kids feet with a stick more than one time so now when they come out they just grab a pair of flip-flops so this one is for our entire family and this is one for guests so when we do have a party or a potluck or something like that and people are over or just people visiting and we want to go out and sit outside they can just grab a brand new pair of flip-flops i got them from the dollar store so they're really inexpensive but it's a great way of have people you know keep their feet clean when they're at the back door and not have to go all the way to the front to find their shoes these are just dollar store i think they're actually laundry baskets but they work great and because they're rubber flip-flops they can stay out all year round the one thing about eating outside is there's never enough room on the table for all this stuff so i love this little fence post organizer i just had my local home hardware store cut all the wood pieces for me. This is just a fence post and a two by four at the bottom. And then I just screwed the pieces together and stained it. Now it's perfect, these little hooks hold all their cutlery and the plates and everything I need is always here. You can even hang hooks right on your fence to really take advantage of the room. Just any little bin, any little bucket can hang in there and get it off your table. Just another little bucket from the dollar store and that's where I put the lighters, um, sunscreen, bug spray. Yes, we have a lot of bugs because we have water in the, in the backyard. So it's like bug bonanza out here. So I'm um, just keeping it all organized in a little bucket. All summer long I have ice water and cups out for the kids. Um, just on the fruit, I love this little jug. You can actually put fruit and things on the inside but having a jug of ice water out here is a total must. On the other side of the door, we have this little conversation set. And you can see at the bottom here, that's where I keep some little toys um, for Milo and for the girls. Just so if we're up here having dinner or something, they can go ahead and play with those little toys. And all of the furniture we got um, secondhand, we found little pieces here and there. We stick with the brown rattan so that everything always coordinates. Over here, we just built this ladder actually to store all the towels because Man, they had them all over the deck and the back of chairs and all over the place. This ladder actually holds nine towels, so it's perfect. It dries them really nice and they're not all over the place. So I really recommend if you have a pool, either finding an old ladder or making one really easily out of two by, these are one by two, sorry. And I like having a deck box too. This is where we keep outdoor pool toys, life jackets, all of that stuff is all neat and tidy and right there beside the pool in this little outdoor deck box. Just thought I'd give you one last look at the backyard for all you nosy rosies. Um, totally love living here. You can see down there, my neighbor has a dock and a deck. We have one as well. If you can't see, it's a little bit of a drop. We have a ladder to get down to it. But we go kayaking and canoeing and we have a little, like a boat that we take out to the lake and go fishing. Um, it's great living here. And in the winter, the river freezes and we can go snowmobiling and you know four wheeling and ice skating and all that great stuff so i love our backyard 
Yes, we have a little bit of bugs, but it's okay. It's totally worth it. Um, love living on the river. I feel so blessed every time I come outside. So anyways, that is the my outdoor space. Can't wait to see the other ladies' outdoor spaces. Make sure you check out everybody else's link. I know I'm going to. See you next time.